This video is an overview of the software update that includes the new feature Divide Pattern. I'm on the Add Edit Pattern page. I already have a pattern in a block and this is where you'll see the new button Divide Pattern. This is where Smooth Pattern used to be. Smooth Pattern has now moved onto the next page so we touch the double arrows and that's where we'll find Smooth Pattern. So we'll go back and we'll uh, investigate Divide Pattern. What does Divide Pattern do? do? Divide Pattern basically converts a closed pattern into an open pattern by a couple of different methods. So let me touch Divide Pattern. This message says select a pattern to divide by touching one of its points. I've already got a star in my block so I'm going to touch that. Continue. And now we are on the Open Divide Pattern page. Let's look at the image first. Up there you can see the star and it's divided into two parts. And you can see that because part of it is red and part of it is green. That's showing me how this pattern will be divided. Let's look down here at the buttons now and we'll talk about those. Okay, right now it says... Um, mode open. There are two different modes for divide open pattern. Right now it says open. If I touch it, then touch the plus minus, it changes to mode divide. Let me put it back to mode open. Okay, mode open. We have a button that says move. We have a rotation button. And when mode is set to open, we have these buttons also. We have a gap button, transition, and stitching mode. I'm going to put the mode back to divide and you'll see that three of the buttons have disappeared. When we're in divide mode only, we only have move and rotation. Okay, uh, the message up here says move, rotate the line to open or divide the pattern. I'm going to touch move. We'll go back up to the star image and I'll show you what move does. Okay, here we are back at the star. There is a horizontal fine green line going through the middle. That's the dividing line. And on that line are two targets. That's showing me where the pattern will be divided. They're indicating the position of new start endpoints. With, with move highlighted, I can move that dividing line up and down. And notice the targets are always on the outside of the pattern. They'll never be on an interior line, they're always on an outside line. And I can move that divide line wherever I want it to be. What Now why would I want to divide this pattern? I want to divide this pattern because I either want to use it as a line pattern or I simply just want to divide it up so that I can stitch it in two parts. Um, whichever, Whatever the reason um, the, this is where the pattern will divide at these targets. And when I touch the finished button, there will be a new start stop here and a new start stop here. What will happen in this divide mode is, and let me touch the little arrows to move that line in tiny increments. Um, in this divide pattern mode, the pattern is, is divided into two. And you can see that one part of the pattern is red and one is green. And that's showing you the two divisions. Um, this little square in the middle is the pivot point of the line so if I want to rotate the line and I'm going to touch rotation it will rotate around that pivot point that allows me to divide the pattern in a different way All right. over here we have a button that says reset that puts the dividing line center and horizontal again okay I've touched move I'm going to move my dividing line up here, down here I should say. And I like where this is but I want to move that dividing line to another position. And in order to do that I'm going to fix this one by moving the pivot point of the line along the line to that point. As close to as I can get. And then when I hit rotation the line will do, will rotate around that pivot point. 
It all depends where you want to divide the pattern, how you want to divide it up. Let me go reset. Um, so, uh, oh, I've still got rotation touch, move. You can move the line too, once it's rotated an angle, you can move the line too. Uh, let's reset it. Okay, move, right, I'm at the middle. Um, so that's basically what the buttons in divide mode do. They divide the pattern into two parts. Let's change the mode. Um, I'm going to change it to open by touching the mode button and then touching the plus or minus sign. Now it's changed to open. Now uh, the difference between these two is the image is exactly the same. The difference is with open the pattern is um, is kept whole but it has a transition uh, built into it to make it a continuous or an open pattern. So let me move. Move is the same. You can move your dividing line to wherever you want it to be. You can rotate the line just the same way. We have two stitching modes in open. Down here at the bottom, um, it's stitching mode full, it says right now. I'm going to leave it at that. What that means is, when I touch finished, there will be a start point here and an end point here. What will happen is that the pattern will stitch um, either the red or the green first. It'll stitch this. When it gets to here, it'll carry on and stitch the rest of the design. When it gets back to here, it will automatically transition over to here, which will be the new end point. Now you can have two transitions, either jump stitch or tie off. If you have jump stitch, it'll stitch all the way around to here and then it'll just jump over there, ready to start another design. If you have it set to tie off, it'll get to here, it'll beep at you, wait for you to cut the threads before it automatically moves over here. The other stitching mode uh, in open is halves and you change that by touching the button that says stitching mode full and then touching the plus or minus sign and now it's changed and says halves and the gap button has disappeared. I'll talk about that in a minute. With stitching mode set to halves, how this pattern will stitch is it'll start here, it'll stitch the red. When it gets to here, this is where the transition will come. It'll transition back to here and then it'll stitch the other part of the design and end here. Again, you've got the same two transitions, jump stitch or tie off. So that's the difference between those two. Let me put this back to uh, stitching mode full and we'll talk about the gap button. Um, with stitching mode full, because it's stitching the whole design before it does the transition, this allows you to move the ending target to wherever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be right at the end of the pattern. It could be over here. It could be inside if you wanted. Um, setting it away from the design means that after this pattern has been stitched, the machine will jump over to the new target out here. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to stitch these stars in a border, one after the other, I'd put them in place and leave, uh, if I wanted them to have a little space between them, and I, then I would move the, the gap, the end target over here and make a gap between, that'll be between the repeats of the design. Okay. Um, now often it's a good idea to set your division at the widest point of the pattern, but sometimes, you know, that might be a bit too obvious. Maybe I'd rather have my division hidden inside there. In which case, with stitching mode to full, if I stitch around to here and, and then the machine goes to here to start the next one, the next design will be overlapping this star. So this is where I need to move my ending target. I touch the button gap and I need to move the ending target way over here so that the designs don't overlap. Let me zoom out so we can see this a bit better. Um, to make sure the patterns don't overlap, I'm going to, do, I'm going to use um, my measuring tool. So let's touch gap again. Here's the measure tool. I'm going to put this end up on the target there. Let me zoom in just a tiny bit. Okay, let's do measure again. Gap, measure tool, okay. 
and grab the end of the measure tool and put it on the, the start target. Grab the other end and put it on my dividing line, but I'm looking at the vertical line and I'm making sure it's beyond the edge of the pattern. And I can see that that measurement is 3.70 inches. So I know I need to have 3.70 here, 3.70 here. Uh, yeah, I need to make the gap twice that in order for the patterns not to overlap. Um, so if I set my gap to uh, you know, eight, eight and a half. There's going to be enough space there so that the patterns wouldn't overlap. Uh, so that's um, those are basically the uh, the different modes of divide. Uh, now, when would you want to use divide? Divide is useful if you want to use a uh, closed pattern as a line pattern. Um, it can turn a closed pattern uh, into an open pattern that, so you can use it as a pantograph. Uh, you can use divide if the pattern you're stitching is too large for the stitching area you have. You can move your dividing line and divide up the pattern so that you're able to stitch part of the design and then advance the quilt and stitch the rest of it. Um, so divide is very useful. Also you can use it to um, actually edit patterns to create new patterns. If I like the red here, I can just touch divide and save that red part away from the green, save the red as a separate pattern. Um, so it's a way to modify patterns too. Uh, so um, that was just a little uh, overview of the new feature, divide.